Hi everybody, welcome to Shooting the Bull. I'm your host, Doug Mathis. And if you're a fan of NASCAR or WWE or any kind of extreme sport, you've got to be a fan of rough stock in rodeo. And here with me today is a two-time world champion bareback rider and the two-time bareback riding champion of the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, Tim O'Connor. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to see you. You know, when we talk about you winning two world championships in a row uh, and two championships here at Fort Worth at the same time, what does it mean to get off on a good foot here at Fort Worth to go on to win that world championship? It means everything to get off on a, on a good note. You know, with the guys that are going to the NFR, we're not really rodeoing in October and November. So the guys that, you know, didn't make the NFR, they're rodeoing. They're going, you know, they're going to Waco, they're going to their circuit finals. So by the time we get to Denver, you know, they got a $20,000 lead on us. And Fort Worth being, you know, the second major of the year between Denver, Fort Worth, and San Antonio, you know, like this is one of the biggest winter rodeos of the entire year. If, you know, of the of the year, right? And then you go through that, and you go out and you win. You win fifteen thousand out of here, and it just jumps you right back into the hunt for the world, and you get back in that top five, and that way you can just stay hunting all all year. You know, you can get up in that top part, and you can just start distancing yourself from the pack. You bet, it gives you an extra punch from everybody else. So uh, the other night here, you had a horse that jumped out and stumbled and went down on his back. Come up, you got right back in time with him. You were eighty six. And you had an option for a re-ride because he went down. Did you? Did it even cross your mind to take the re-ride? It didn't really cross my mind to take the re-ride because I knew 85 was one of the round. But it did cross my mind to go make sure I was 86 points. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, and it's not your guys' fault, the numbers get crossed, and they yep. say you're 86, and you turn your option down, and it turns out you were 76. And right. I, you know, I've had horses go down them before, make really good rides, and you're in the high 70s. I've never been in the mid 80s on a horse that went down <laughs> it, before. It was good all the way through, even after the stumble. It was great. Now, last thing I got to ask: you've got a special time coming up in March, unless they moved it up, like we were talking about earlier. <laughs> but first child coming to the O'Connor House. How is that going to change things around the house? I'm sure it's going to change a lot. Um, <laughs> No, I don't, I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I know I'm pretty scared, honestly, at the same time. But uh, <laughs> we're going to we're gonna get our first boy into, the, into our household and, you know, start our family off. And, you know, we got our house set up for the baby, but I don't know what it's going to be like to, you know, have, the, you know, have, a, have a little boy. Right. I call my own now. You know, I, I barely liked holding kids before, so now I'm all excited. I get to hold you my own. get ready. Yeah. <laughs> so... I think it's going to change a lot. I think it's going to be harder for me to leave the house. That's exactly uh, right. But at the same time, too, you know, my wife understands this is how you know I make a living for our family. So yep. I'm just going to have to suck it up sometimes, and hopefully, I can get her to come out on the road a lot more. So, have you learned how to change a diaper yet? I haven't learned how to change a diaper yet. We were joking the other day about. Uh, she said, "What are you going to do if you're home with the baby and I'm at work?" and the kid has a blowout. And I was like, I'm gonna bring him to your work and you're gonna change that. <laughs> and she said, no, you're not. You're gonna learn how to do that. And I was like, you're gonna get a Snapchat of me taking a garden hose to him. <laughs> she didn't think that was that fun. Probably not, probably not. Well, man, it's been great having you. Good luck here at Fort Worth. Good luck for the rest of the year. This is Tim O'Connell. We sure do appreciate you being here. Thank you. Well, coming up at the legendary Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo for the last two rodeo performances on Saturday. If you haven't got your tickets, I hate to tell you, but I think they're all sold out. But you check them anyway. But if you'd like to get in on some of the action around Stock Show, the horse shows and livestock shows all day Friday, as well as taking in our junior sale of champions on Saturday. If you can't be here on Saturday, you can watch the sale on RFD TV, courtesy of Superior Livestock, beginning at 9 a.m. Plus, you can take in the sounds at the Coors Light Roadhouse. Tell you what, that is where the fun continues after the rodeo. Jake Ward is going to be there tonight on Friday night. Saturday night is John Ballman. That's it for Shooting the Bull. I'm your host, Doug Mathis. We'll see you next time.